It's no secret that I love the Pilati Aero YSL bags, and I recently ordered a third, and it was a massive mistake. Stick around and find out why. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like, oh, I don't know, luxury shopping, reveals reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, you know, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style. That's right, you'll find it right here on this channel. So if these are things that you're into, which I mean, you're already here, so I'm assuming it is, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi to me down in the comments, let me know what you think of today's unboxing because it's a doozy. Also, before we dive in, find me, well, Wait till after the video, then find me on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. As promised, today we are going to do maybe another failed unboxing, but this time it's no one else's fault but my own. I take full responsibility for this one. It is so, such a bummer. As you guys know, my Pilates era bags from YSL are quite honestly some of my favorites. It started out with this Muse 2, and then after, I mean, about six, seven months of searching, I found a second one worthy of joining my closet. And I recently unveiled this one, bit of a fail. So if you're into the drama, go over there and check that out. And speaking of, I don't want you guys to think that this channel is becoming clickbaity and like, oh my God, I bought something and it's a disappointment again. That's not what we're going for. I usually don't have things go wrong. He says, thinking back about the Celine bag that he never showed you guys, the failed Balenciaga unboxing, the stinky, gross, dirty old coach clutch, the unboxing of this. So, okay, there's a few. There's a few, I will admit. But that's not that's not the goal here. I'm not trying to like clickbait and like drama and, and everything. It's just when things like this happen, I want to be transparent with you guys and say, hey, listen, I thought I was making the right decision. I clearly didn't. And that's what we're going to get into today with this bag. So let me move these Muse 2s, these two Muse 2s, two Muses 2. Let me move both of these out of the way and then we'll get into what's in this box. And you guys, it still is such a disappointment the box. So this is from Fashion File, as most of my purchases are at this point. I mean, I think it's a recurring theme. So if this surprised you, you haven't been paying attention, which is fine. However, this bag, I, I had been eyeing for a brief minute, like a good, it, it, a few weeks, I'll be quite honest. And it was, it's in immaculate condition, as you'll see, like absolutely flawless, includes all the paperwork, leather sample, yada, 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 dust bag, it's all in this box. Such a good deal price-wise until we discuss it a little bit further. For some reason, I thought that this would work for me. So as you know, I'm a taller guy, I'm six foot seven, so I have to be very mindful if I do a handheld bag, like how small it is and what the proportions look like. Because on me, something could look totally weird that looks awesome on the next guy. This is one of those instances, unfortunately. As you know, I have the Balenciaga City bags, the Louis Vuitton Multicolor Speedy 30. I have a few smaller handheld bags, but they work. They, they work with my style, they work with... Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So let's dive in and see what's in this box. If you've been here, if you've been on YouTube at all and you've seen a fashion file unboxing, you know what comes with the box. All right, I've already seen it. I've already looked at it. I, I even opened the paperwork just so I could check out what the return policy was. Ugh, I really messed up big time on this one. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So this bag is another Pilates era bag. It was out in like 08, 09, and I, I wanted it so bad back then, but hashtag broke college boy, I didn't have the funds to splurge on a gorgeously constructed all leather YSL bag back then. It was a different time, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm catching up and I'm buying the things that I didn't get the first time around. So that's kind of the recurring theme of my collection anyway. So this bag, it came in three sizes. I thought, you know, okay, I can get the medium size. I don't need a massive travel bag just to carry every day. I'm trying to break that stereotype for men when it comes to, you know, designer handbags. And I should have gone with the large. Anyway, the bag that I got is, you can probably already tell, whoop, peekaboo, the YSL Cabas Chic. And I love this bag. 
However, when I got it, at first I saw the really small box and I'm like, oh my gosh, they've done it again. They sit my bag squished in a teeny tiny box. If you guys missed it, check out my last YSL Muse 2, link down in the description for that unboxing. They, they did me a little dirty, not gonna lie, just a little. Not a whole lot of dirty, just a little dirty. And they smashed that gorgeous green crocodile Muse 2 that I showed you guys a minute ago in like the world's smallest box. Like it was origami in there. It was so sad. Anyway, it popped back to life. I've used the bag for a week or two and it's absolutely gorgeous, loving it. However, this beauty is just too small in my frame. So this is the YSL Cabas Chic and mine is actually, I believe, spring, summer 2012. The paperwork is inside, which is absolutely amazing, like bonus. I don't know, you guys, like I want to love this bag. I truly, truly, truly do. And I almost tricked myself into thinking it was okay. I, I don't know if women or ladies have this, you know, um, I, I don't even know what to call it, but maybe the fellows here will be able to chime in down in the comments and be like, yes, yes, agreed. Sometimes a handbag can lean to Percy. Other people can pull it off and look absolutely amazing. A beautiful handbag sometimes can look absolutely bizarre. I mean, I will literally look like I'm holding my wife or my girlfriend or my bestie's purse while she's in the bathroom, which I totally would do because it's the nice thing to do, but I don't wanna be walking around everywhere looking like I'm in that scenario. Unfortunately, this is exactly what this looks like on me. It's the same size as a Balenciaga City. It's actually a little bit thicker than a Balenciaga City, but I think because the Balenciaga City, A, has thicker and shorter handles, it looks better. B, it's a more relaxed, moto style, edgy, I mean, masculine for lack of a better word. Whereas this is very polished, very chic, very, very YSL. I just know me. The amount of money that I wrapped up into this, I I can't justify just throwing it in the closet and maybe using it once or twice a year. Like that is, I mean, <laughs> full transparency. I already do that with most of my bags because you can't carry 60 bags on rotation and give them like a good weeks or two worth of use. So, but this one, I just knew that I would be so self-conscious of carrying that depending on where I was going or, you know, what I was going to wear, I would always default to something else as opposed to this gorgeous bag. And this bag did not deserve that kind of treatment in my closet. Cosmic mistake. So it is going back. I put this on reserve. Now, 90%, not even 90%, 98% of the time I put something on reserve, it works flawlessly. You know why? Because I know it looks good on me. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Caleb and I like to buy multiples. So if I already have a bag in my collection, Fashion File has it in another color, material, or hardware color for my Balenciaga collectors. I know we love to, you know, get the silver giant hardware and then we need the gold giant hardware. I get that, but I already have multiples of bags, so I know it looks good on me. Like, uh, I can do it with peekaboos. I can do it with any, really, almost any Balenciaga bag. The reason why this was such a mistake is because, hi, I goofed. My name's Caleb and I goofed. I put this on reserve. And if you're not familiar with Fashion File and the reserve policies, you put, I think, 25% down and then you just have to make all the payments in full within 60 days. Otherwise, they restock it and you get hit with a restocking fee of 10%. The same is true if I return this beauty, which I'm going to. I'm going to get hit with a 10% penalty, which ugh, absolutely kills me, but I'd rather, okay, full transparency, I think in total this bag was $605. So at the end of the day, I would rather lose $60 and not have $600 wrapped up in a bag that I'll use twice essentially. And as you all know, I'm also embarking on my Chanel journey. So we've got that coming up and this is 500, well, 605 minus 60 is about 545. I'm getting better at math, you guys. I'm so proud of myself, but that'll be $545 that I can put back in my Chanel fund or I, I low-key use the return of this to justify my massive, well, not massive, but my big coach sale haul. Reveal coming soon, unboxing coming soon for that. Okay, it deserves a close-up. Here we go. All right, you guys, so here is the Cabas Chic up close and personal. And it is such a bummer because how gorgeous is that trio together? I mean, honestly, you have the beautiful emerald croc, you have the navy croc, you have the navy bag. I was really hoping that this would be like a gorgeous jewel tone, Stefano Pilati era vibe. But you guys, I say it all the time, it's a vibe I'm here for. It. Well, this is one vibe that I'm not here for because this bag has to go back. It looks horrible on me, which is heartbreaking. Anyway, so the bag, as you can tell, is absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful construction, all thick, beautiful leather. They did mention that it was a little bit musty in the listing, and I will completely 100% agree. It does have a bit of an odor, but it just smells like 
someone's house. You know what I mean? It's not really like a musty basement or gross. It just smells like someone else. It's already aired out while it's been here. So I can only imagine what it's going to do, you know, in the next few weeks before you buy it. Because I'm assuming one of you will buy it. I'm hoping anyway, because it's gorgeous and someone deserves to have this beautiful bag. The bottom has feet, which of course, as you all know, we love around here. Now, one of the things that Pilates was known for at YSL was his use of modern and minimal hardware. So on my Muses, you can see that beautiful like buckle closure on the front with the straps, and then also the little pegs in the back, kind of keeping the pockets closed. And of course those have feet as well. I mean, he does not disappoint and this bag is no exception. So it's really unique because much like the Balenciaga Cities, you could have the zipper track just kind of flapping around. You just have to undo it from this side buckle thing here. And the hardware is so gorgeous. So you have the YSLY here in the front, which is echoed in the pattern of the leather stitching on the front and the back. I loved the minimalist attention to details. Like it is, on point, like YSL back then was a whole other beast than it is now, it's gorgeous. And then underneath the Y, you of course have the YSL stamp here. Now, my muses do have the YSL stamp and the feet on the bottom. This one does not for some reason. I don't know why they did different feet or really feet at all because the bottom is, it's structured, but I mean, overall, it's a very smooshy bag, which as you all know, I like, but this isn't the one for me. I'm not going to keep it. The one thing that I did find annoying with this bag is this elevated guard on the zipper bed. Like it's, if you've got rings like I do on today, like it can be a bit of a pain to like get in there and get to the zippers. I have the same complaint with the posh toilet from Louis Vuitton. I don't understand why they do this. I mean, it's a vibe, it is a look, but ease of use mm, doesn't go hand in hand with this look. It's kind of a bummer. So the interior is very simple, which I do like. It's just that typical fabric cotton twill lining, which, you know, it's, it's very similar to what's in the Balenciagas, if not the same. The front has the two slip pockets. The back has the zippered pocket with the YSL stamped here on the tag. And then in the zipper pocket, this is where the good stuff is. I flipped when I saw this, this was so cool. So as you all know, I am a geek when it comes to collecting bags and I love a complete set. So with this we had the Yves Saint Laurent Contralato card. We also have the leather swatch which as you can tell the bag really hasn't. I mean it's it's faded a teeny tiny bit but you'd have to really look to clock it. And then in here we have the YSL little envelope that holds the original tag. As you can see, this is from 2012, I believe spring, summer. We have the YSL certificate of authenticity and the YSL care book in a myriad of languages, which is really neat. And then last but not least, we have one of the most luxurious dust bags. I absolutely love this style of YSL dust bag. However, on my Muse 2, the navy blue one, it's the lining is attached to the top of the dust bag. As you can see, it's like two different bags here. On the new buck croc one, it is not attached to the top, much like this one is, is not actually. And it catches, the lining catches on the new buck suede and it's, it's horrible, like it just, you cannot put that bag in easily. It's a pain in the butt. It's also a pain to take back out again. But anyway, beautiful dust bags. Obviously I'm not gonna keep it, but I mean, should I do a review for you guys and show you what fits inside? Is that something we wanna see? Okay, why not? So staying true to my current YSL obsession, my fixation, if you will. I am using my YSL Sade clutch in the black lambskin. Love this bag, is absolutely perfect. So let's see what all we can get in this other bag. So we have my Balenciaga portemonnaie for my headphones. We have my posh toilette for my, I don't know, cosmetics, if you will, I guess. My Bratza wallet from Louis Vuitton. Prada six key holder. My gum, which as always, I am running low on. Someone please send me more gum. And this bag is too small to fit my uh, sunglasses in there with everything else. So I'm not wearing sunglasses for the next couple of days, I guess, kind of a bummer. All of this fits beautifully inside of the YSL Cabas Chic. And since I'm not going to keep it and be able to give you guys a full on review, I figured I might as well just show you now what all can fit in there. And with my sunglasses, it's a lot fuller, I would say, but here is everything in there. So as you can tell, even in the medium size, if you know, you're just carrying the essentials, you're gonna have a lot of room for everything that you're gonna need in there. That is up close and personal, the YSL Cabas Chic. Oh, 
Now that all is a vibe. Look at all that YSL, that's gorgeous. All right, you guys. So that is the YSL Cobbis Chic in the medium size. Will I eventually go out and try and find a flawless large size because it is a couple inches bigger? which I think I could pull off. Will I reserve it? Absolutely not. I'll just buy it outright. I'm getting to the point in my closet and also as a collector where I really only want to buy the pieces that like send me over the moon. A few case in points with that, the, the palace clutch that I have or the Prada Esplanade shoulder bag, the, the Muse 2, like bags that I'm like absolutely like, oh my God, I have to have it. This was only really filling a collector's like, oh, it's another Pilates era bag. Don't get me wrong. Like I do buy bags just to have like them in my collection, not necessarily to use a lot, like once in a while. I just couldn't justify it in this instance. I've, I've run out of closet space as it is. You know, that big, beautiful Pax closet that I put in for my Ikea, full. Um, I actually have two bags. Or, three soon that I have to like move from like the table to the sofa whenever you know we're going to bed and put it back. I've run out of room so I need more shelving. At the end of the day I just couldn't justify spending that much money on a bag that I'm not going to use. I know me and I know my crazy thoughts on like how I'm perceived and, and how I look when I'm out in public and I just knew that this would not fit into the puzzle of crazy that is going on up here. So it's going back. Fashion file, you're welcome. I'm sending you this beauty back. You'll have absolutely no problem selling it. Anyway, you guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I know today was very rambly, not terribly exciting as far as unboxings go and a little bit disappointing, but I think we made a breakthrough today. I think we had some inner growth. We're not just keeping things to keep them and not like, oh, I'm gonna lose $60. Well, I'd rather lose 60 than 540. I think I've made some progress today in my crazy hoard of a collection, maybe a little bit. Give me some credit, please. Anyway, like I said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Be thinking about some Q&A questions. I'm going to be putting up a community post this week and also asking folks over on Instagram just questions. Like we've hit 2,000 subscribers. A lot of you are new because we've grown really fast, which I am so thankful for that you've chosen to spend your time watching my little videos. I think that's so cool. So yeah, ask me questions. Literally nothing is off the table unless it's out of line. I guess. Um, so ask away. Let me know. I'm, like I said, I'm going to put up a community post that way they can all kind of be in one spot. I know some of you have already asked questions on another video that I posted. So don't worry. I will go back, find those questions and use them in the Q&A, which I'm going to probably film here in about a week or two. I want that to go out pretty soon because I have another little, little announcement to you to go with that. So in the meantime, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Don't make fashion mistakes like I did today. It was a very expensive lesson. Well, not a very expensive lesson, but it could have been had I decided to keep it and not use it. Again, thank you guys. Have a great week. Until Sunday, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Bye-bye.